main focus over the last probably you know, say five to ten years has really been making sure we've got a supply chain that's capable of feeding the machine that we've got now and in the future. At the same time looking at different and new ways of producing housing. I think organisations generally now regard supply chain as a key facet of the organisation, something that you can give you competitive advantage. And even if it can't give you competitive advantage, it can give you other um, benefits to the organisation that are more than just, can we save you some money? So that, that's quite a big part of, of what we've done over the last sort of five, ten years, is, is slowly enrol various parts of the business into the importance of supply chain and get them engaged with the supply chain. So it's not seen as just a procurement thing and we're the only people who can talk to our suppliers, but you know, everybody should be talking to them. I think the first thing we had to do was break down some of the old working practices that were very adversarial. And there is still, a, still some of that in the business, but it's much, much less than it used to be. If, if you haven't got that and you haven't got a, a sort of level of trust between yourself and your supplier, you're not really going to get very far. So the first thing to do is change people's view of what our supply chain is, what it does for us and how important it is. Once you've done that, you've got a much easier engagement model. The, the strength of the team is in the strength of the, the people in the team. Um, the ability to deliver absolutely rests on the people who are doing that delivery. The, the basic building block is, is people in the team and their capability and, and their ability to uh, be able to relate to, infuse, develop uh, and, and embrace the supply chain that they're working with.